Today we're going to be taking a look at the VFly Whoop Store. This is a complete 1S battery management solution for your Tiny Whoop batteries because it has a discharger to put your batteries into storage voltage. That is pretty much one of the main unique features of this charger. In fact, it is the only charger on the market that can do this at this time that I'm aware of. Well, there's a lot of other things to love here with this charger. So let's start, let's begin. We've got six PH 2.0 battery charging sockets, and we've also got six Beta FPV BT 2.0 battery sockets as well. And these are genuine Beta FPV uh, battery connectors here. To power up the Whoop Store, we have a few different options. We've got a DC input jack. We've also got an XT60 connector. Keep in mind, you can only use up to 5S for your DC input. Uh, and if you want to do charging over USB-C, you can't do it using 5 volt, but you can do it from 9 volt and upward. So I'm going to plug in my 4 cell battery here. We're going to take a look at the charging interface. This thing is extremely simple to use. If you want to change between regular battery, regular LiPo or LIHV, there's a switch here. And there's a switch here, switch between whether you want to go to a full charge or a storage charge. We got a nice little OLED screen panel here that shows us what's going on. So let's get some batteries on here. So the fit of the batteries is nice and solid. As you can see, you hear that nice click. The connection here is not flimsy at all. The connectors are nice and snug. Now we can change our uh, amperage here. It goes all the way up to 0.9 amps, and that is per socket. That's per socket, 0.9 amps in HV mode. All right, so these are 300 milliamp hour batteries. So I want to go ahead and charge at 0.3 amps, and there we go. Our charge begins. Now, when the charge is done, the charger will say OK, and that means it'll be time to pull the battery off the charger. There's nothing that will beep or tell you that, uh, so you have to just keep an eye on the charger. So for those of you who have BT 2.0 batteries, you're going to love this charger because it's got the genuine BT 2.0 connectors on it and they have a very nice fit. As you can see, we have a pretty decent fit here. No power lost to any of the batteries, even moving them around a little bit. The one thing I want to point out is that you can mix and match if you want. Like for example, let's say I wanted to charge one of these PH 2.0 batteries. You can do that. I can stop the charge, pull it from the six socket, plug this into here, and you're totally good to do that. So I can have PH 2.0 batteries charging at the same time that my BT 2.0 batteries are charging. You can do whatever you want. One important safety tip about mixing and matching batteries, make sure that the batteries you use are all the same. They either have to all be LIHV or all LiPo, you can't differentiate. It's an all or nothing kind of setup here. So please be mindful of that. Also, while we're on the topic of safety, I wanna point out that these sockets, all of them are lit up while you're charging. So I can literally take this battery and pop it on there and it starts charging. So just keep that in mind that all of these are live when charging is on. All right, so let's demonstrate the star feature of this thing, which is the storage charge. So we're gonna direct our attention to this little switch here in the corner. We're gonna put it into store mode. Now it will say stow CHG ready, and that's it, that's all you have to do. Press start and this thing will start storage discharging. This is just, Brilliant. This is just absolutely fantastic because it is a pain in the butt to discharge and charge the 1S LiPos. And I think most people, including myself, over the years have been relatively careless with the 1S. And it's easy to be because they are cheap, but it adds up. It adds up. And, and the reality is we should be taking care of the 1S batteries just the same way that we do our bigger packs. And now it's fine. You finally can. It's not a hassle. I can just put them on this thing, let it go. And that's it. It's a little storage charging for me. So this is a brilliant little device that 
VFly has come up with here. And if you only fly micros, if you only fly whoops, this is a complete solution. You technically do not even need to have a full hobby grade charger. You can just grab yourself an old laptop power supply, charge it out of the DC input jack, and that's it. Like, if you only do 1S, if that's your thing, then this charger is complete. It's a complete setup. All right, that's it. Let me know if you guys have any questions about the VFly Whoop store. I want to thank VFly for sending this unit out to me to do a review on the channel. And I also want to thank them for being nice to work with when it comes to listening to feedback. I've been testing this for a few months now. And they are very open to listening to feedback from the community. And it's just something that I appreciate. And this is a product that I've wanted to see for a long, long time. And I'm really glad to say that it exists today. All right, I got links down in the video description below to where you can grab this guy. And let me know if you have any questions. As always, have a great day. I'm going to go do some flying. If I've got batteries left over, I'm going to do some discharging. And, uh... You guys take care and have a great day.